Welcome to West High. At our high school, there are many options when it comes to sports and athletics. But recently, a new sport has been making its debut. So it started with me asking Mr. Jolliffe a question at the beginning of last school year. I wanted to do it, and I approached him, and he sort of laughed and said that the district has been working on it and was about to announce their program. Southeast had piloted it last year without really even telling anybody, and West ended up being the second school to really jump into it. It's grown a lot. It's gone from six kids meeting at a business to over 30 kids who meet four times a week in less than a year. While they may be just video games, every player has to be in the right mindset in order to succeed. It takes a lot of teamwork and a lot of um, personal determination, in my opinion. Although it's like a team-based game, your mindset as an individual adds to the group. If someone is feeling down on a certain day or they're just not feeling that game, it affects the whole team. Being good at Valorant means knowing yourself and also knowing how to add your strengths and weaknesses to the team as a whole. Valorant as a five-man team-based game is, it's a game where you can pop off, but you're not gonna win unless everyone is doing what they're like expected to do. To have a good team, every, every single player needs to be working together. There are games where certain individuals can carry the fight, in Overwatch, that's not really possible. Your entire team has to be coordinated and you have to know what's going on. Like, there's, there's certain compositions. Each character is unique. They all have their, their specific role. And if one character doesn't play their role correctly, it could kill the entire team and that we would lose the fight. We have a set time for practice and we do things like we, we run drills where we um, practice different like setups. We practice like different play styles. We do have warm-ups that we do. It's called aim labs. Basically, it just helps us get our aim warmed up. At the end of the school year, the teams who have placed top four in either the fall or spring majors come together to compete for up to 150,000 in scholarships and the HSEL National Championship title. There's a lot of things I could do in college, and esports is really tempting, and I believe if I get an offer and I get a position in a school that I like, I would definitely continue doing esports. Esports for me was really just a stepping stone to get to college and to get to where I want to be in college. The opportunity that esports brings to these players opens up new doors for the future.